Good morning, ducks. Good morning, everybody. I'm, uh, oh, this is going to be screwed up because I haven't even released last night's video yet, but you've already seen Doug's update. So we're going to get a bit of out of sync here on the channel on, on the timeline of videos. Um, this morning, I, I had an epiphany, guys. I have been struggling with the pivot heads uh, with no uh, lenses because, you know, I, I can't see up close. And I'm sitting on the toilet this morning having my morning routine and I remembered the the Nico cam lenses on my other pivot heads I don't use the other pivot heads because they're the first generation and the sound sucks but the lenses were on them so I uh, put the lenses in my newer uh, version and so that I can see giving medicine to the ducks so we're gonna let the ducks out I've got the shotgun hanging inside the door But we're gonna let the duckies out here because like Andrew strongly recommends uh, getting them out of the pen it's uh, not started raining yet but it's supposed to pour all day come on ducks oh look how fast they're leaving eh? look at this <laughs> Look at them, look how fast they're running. <laughs> get, out, get outside and hunt, ducks. Oh, I can't even talk here. Right to the grass. And poor males. I gotta, I gotta deal with that too, but we, we've had a bit of a crazy week here. Magoo and Stripper. Oh, that poor little duck, too. I'm, uh... Oh, we got another duck with a hurt foot. What's going on? Okay, I gotta look without the pivot heads because I, everything's blurry right now, guys. Okay, I just checked. It's not swollen. I don't know if that's the girl with the hip problem. What is going on here? And then the, this little duck is the one from last night. Oh no, she's walking. But they're not swollen legs. I'm worried guys. This is bad. We got some hurt ducks happening here. The last duck there, I think that's the one from last night. But they don't have any swelling. It, it looks like a, a hip problem. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, I got to uh, do some medicine. Get the uh, hello stripper and Magoo. Look at the two of them, eh? Sticking together. All right, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta deal with medicine ducks here. Well, I don't believe there's more hurt ducks. What is going on here? Are you all right? Yeah, you're all right. Okay. Oh, the gate's locked. Get the uh, soak done here. My plan of action is I'm going to use the net to catch the ducks. And then after I treat each duck, I'm going to put it uh, in the uh, the soaking tub while I do egg recon and the feed here. I'm really worried about those two ducks limping. It does look like hip problems because there's no swelling. Ugh. All right, let's get this happening here. I've got the medicine. I've got glasses so I can actually see what I'm doing instead of doing it in braille. Hi little ducks. Turn the light on. Alright, we gotta catch everybody. Oh, is it ever weird <laughs> wearing glasses doing this? Because uh it's completely blurry for me guys. Okay. 
I got to, uh, you know, I, I almost need like a little table in here. But a little table wouldn't work because the ducks would knock it over. Uh, uh, <laughs> we'll do limpy first. No, no, don't be running. There you go. Right in there. That's a good little duck. I know, girl. We're going to make you better. That's the plan anyways. I hope it works. I got to get the pen cleaned out. Tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day and I can get the trench. Okay, I got the... Okay, Limpy, stop fighting. I gotta get the trench shoveled out. As soon as I get the trenches shoveled out, I can do a wash. All right, let me. Oh, look at the size of that leg. That is crazy. That's a, well, we got her. We got her on double mess. Okay. Have a soak. Okay, now. Okay, I gotta uh, I gotta catch these girls first and then get the meds. Alright little ducks, don't panic. Just stay calm. Okay? I know little girls, you're being so good. We'll just get you in the net so that you don't run around. Come on, walk into the net. Okay, there's one, one, two. Okay, come on, girl. All right, there we go. Okay, she's biting my jacket. <laughs> you little goop. All right. Oh, and duck. Holy mackerel, they're big ducks. What a gorgeous duck, though. And she's big. Oh, the swelling man. Look at the size of her foot, guys. But it's also a big duck. A gorgeous looking duck, though. Here, let's get this high in here. I gotta come up with some kind of shelf here. See, the problem is I only, I just thought, or, I went, or, and then I thought, no, I don't have enough, um, I don't have enough, uh, uh tubes. I'm thinking, though, I'm going to have to come up with another system. I'm thinking I'm going to have to load these in the house. do a tube swap outside I think that's what I'm gonna to have to do Andrew did give me some more um, what you call it syringes but he didn't have any more of the the tube lock rigamajigs on the end that technical thing you know? <laughs> the, the rigamajig all right duck. calm down little duck oh you you, you are a big duck <laughs> the, the duck hospital we're really getting big time here all right i'll load this up yeah i gotta come up with a better system for treating this many ducks I'm 
well, considering it's only my second day of doing this many ducks, I'm not doing too bad. Oh, little duck. You girls are actually quite docile once I catch you. Limpy actually is putting up more fight than these ducks. Come on, open your mouth. Oh, boys. Okay. Open your mouth. Okay, we'll put you in the soak. Relax, girls. All right. <laughs> the duck doctor. Oh, man. But I got to say, these ducks, um, I owe them. I owe them uh, my dog's life. I seem to be two milliliters over my measurement every morning here. And I know I'm putting exactly 38 milliliters of water. I guess it's because of the suspension. <coughs> no, no, don't fight. Okay, hang on here, duck. All right. your mouth all the way there we go calm down there okay so that's medicine taken care of now we'll go do a recon And, uh, and get feed. Actually, you know, I just realized something. These four females, there's no eggs in here. Well, I couldn't eat the eggs anyways because of the antibiotics, but they've been in here three days. I guess this uh, infection is really uh, uh, playing havoc on their bodies. I'm really worried though about those other ducks with the limps. I like to know how they hurt themselves. Okay. All right. I'm going to uh, switch glasses now because I don't need uh, to have lenses on to do a recon. Well, luckily uh, I don't have Doug out here because uh, we just had a whole bunch of crows go over, freak the ducks out, and uh, Doug would have just ran around with a complete madman. Look how much water's in that swamp, guys. That's so awesome. Like, it's there's actually waves in the creek at this end. That's how much water there is. That's, uh, that's really good. Because I'm trying to think, last spring there wasn't even this much water. Well, I'm just looking here. To give you an idea, directly ahead there, right at the mouth of the creek, is where the log stuck out of the water you know like 20 inches 24 inches out of the water it's gone so the lake's over two feet of water higher than it was last year because i used to go through there with the boat and not hit the log and the log's gone now and it was sticking up like well you know if you watched the show last year that log was sticking out of the water like a good 20 inches oh there's the rain it's just starting to spit but I just had a brainwave. I got to go to my neighbor. Um, the guy that does uh, maple syrup. He uh, has a little dump trailer for his quad runner. I don't know why I never thought of this. Because I was just walking around here looking at all the spots I need to bring gravel. And uh, a little dump trailer behind the lawn tractor. Because I don't mind shoveling. Shoveling is not a big deal. It's the, it's the back and forth with the wheelbarrow. If I could come in here and start, because I got to dump, I got anywhere there's mud, sitting wetness, Andrew told me I got to get either stone down or gravel, because like over there, that area there, like that wet stuff there, the wet stuff there, it's breeding grounds for uh, this parasite or disease or whatever's going on here. 
I've got to, uh, I got to get, I got to, I got to get some things happening here because like this area, like it's all dry and clean, but the problem is the ducks aren't hanging around here. I've got to get the whole pen like this, you know, uh, because if I get gravel down, then, you know, the moisture will drain away. And, uh, because Andrew said it's the moisture is the problem. That's what's, that's what's causing the problem with the ducks. It, it needs to dry out. That's where this infection came from. Is from moisture like if you look here like this is dry because of all the gravel that's beaten into the ground you know like it, it the moisture doesn't sit here there's no mud and that's what I have to get like the whole pen I've got to get covered so I've got to order some stone that pea stone the, the little stuff because that's the stuff that the, is right here that's packed down hard So I got to order a load of uh, a truckload of stuff and unfortunately this time of year you can only get half loads because of the weight restriction on the highway because that there is not enough. I need another half load minimum to get rid of the mud holes. Now, like I said it's like it's almost the exact same price to order a half a load uh, compared to the full load because the gravel itself is not the expensive part it's the haulage. The, uh, they don't charge you much for the gravel. It's the uh, it's the actual time with the truck, and I got to get it taken care of. So I'm going to be shoveling gravel this week. But I got to go see my neighbor about his dump trailer. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that he's got a dump trailer for his quad runner, which is exactly what I need for the lawn tractor, because then I can just. You know, fill her up and dump, fill her up and dump, and, and it's a lot faster and easier on old Matt here because uh, it's the wheelbarrow back and forth that it's like <laughs> it's, it's like it wears me out. I'm not gonna lie. I can do a lot of shoveling, but it's the wheelbarrow that just wipes you right out. Plus, with a dump trailer, I could I actually probably carry three wheelbarrow loads so I gotta go do that so that's gonna be a little bit of a distraction here this morning I gotta go see my neighbor line this up Because, you know, normally, I, I'm, you know, I, I normally, 99.9% .9 of the time, I clean the pen constantly, but we've had so much rain. I just haven't uh, had a chance to shovel the uh, trench out. And plus, you know, this week, was, this week actually would have been the week that I would have done the pen. But we had the dug interruption. Which, you know, think about this, you know, you want to think about a chain of events. If I wouldn't have had a dirty pen, you know, this infection or this bug that's in the, you know, in the, in the mud, the ducks wouldn't have got sick. Doug wouldn't have got discovered with cancer. So there's a chain of events for you. So because of the rain, you're making the pen muddy, causing this bacteria infecting the ducks taking the ducks to the vet like what <laughs> you don't even start working backwards eh oh i hear a hissing duck oh it's mascara duck come on girl come on out come on just walk out nice and slow oh you're upset eh i'm sorry but i gotta get this taken care of we can't have uh hurt ducks well sick ducks not hurt those other two ducks I'm thinking like I like to know what happened to them how they got their hips hurt because the males have been locked up for two weeks that doesn't make any sense the food bank is uh, gonna get less eggs this week because uh, well between Dougie and I the uh, Doug's been having three eggs every morning because uh, I've been mixing his uh, medicine so that he doesn't have an empty stomach and I eat three eggs so it's like, a, it's like food banks gonna basically get screwed about about four and a half 
four dozen eggs, three and a half dozen eggs, less. No, a dozen and a half, a dozen and a half, because Doug, well actually, yeah, no, 20, 21 eggs, almost two dozen less, because Doug's eating three a day. But I gotta give him, because Doug doesn't eat, he's, uh, he doesn't, he's not like normal dogs. <laughs> like, uh, the dog doesn't have a routine when it comes to food. He, uh, he doesn't eat in the mornings. He doesn't eat at night. He, he eats whenever. It's the most bizarre thing. I've never had a dog like him. Because usually uh, every dog I've had, you know, is like they run to the food dish. Doug uh, is not that kind of dog. He's very, very laid back when it comes to food. Except treats. All right, food for the ducks. So that's a pretty good bucket of eggs. Of the ducks soaking in the pool. I called my buddy about the barn because I'm uh, finding out. I'm thinking positive, guys. I'm thinking Doug's results are going to come back grade one, and we're going to be at least en route to fixing this bottom log because you know she's collapsing, and the door's going to get harder and harder. Actually, it's starting to, the uh, barn's going down some more. The door is starting to actually it's dropping here too. The whole bottom log's gone. It's just a, it's just mush. It's got to be fixed. Actually, I'm looking. It's getting worse. Oh yeah, look at this. This end's rotted right off. The barn. This side of the barn's sitting on nothing. It has to get fixed. So I'm thinking positive. So we fix, replace this log, and the front log, and then this corner will get tied back in so that it's solid again which enables me to open that door because I can't open the barn door uh, well one I got the window in there but I framed it right across to hold this wall together so I need to to get it so that I can open up the uh, the door but the only way that's gonna happen is if I fix it because if I open that door this corner will come out on the bottom and if I fix it it allows me I could put patio stones you know dig this out and put a whole bunch of patio stones and I could put a temporary lean-to and I've got a bunch of fiberglass uh, uh, green uh, it's clear fiberglass for greenhouses as I used to have an old uh, cold shed uh, cold house over there I could do the roof with it and then just do plastic on the walls and I could have more area outside I there's many possibilities I could use logs I could come up with something temporary that I don't need a building permit for. Which means no government involvement. <laughs> which is a really good thing. Because as soon as you get the government involved, the price gets expensive because you gotta you got you gotta pressure treated wood, you gotta, you know, you got all the it's just everything. Everything just gets expensive. Because you're not allowed to do anything. Because the government, you know, they, they know you know what's safe and what's not. According to them, anyways. All right, little girls. Are you going to splash me? That's a silly question, isn't it? Okay, you're really good in the um, barn or shed here. Okay, I'm going to stop talking, guys, because what I have found when I talk grabbing these girls, because when you talk and your mouth is open, they splash you and you get your mouth full of duck water. So I'm not going to say anything. Are not cooperative. All right, that little girl goes right back to her nest. 
This is for your own good. We're going to make you better. All right, I've done my deed there. I'll be back to them later to uh, give them their second dose for the day. <laughs> but you get just absolutely soaked because they've got to you know, flap their wings. I'm just soaked, man. My legs are soaked, my face is soaked, my arms are soaked, and it's all from them, you know, flapping their wings like panic fools. Sooner or later, you know what will happen? Their very last treatment, oh, I'm going in circles here. Um, their very last treatment, they'll probably just sit there and let me pick them up. That's usually what happens. Okay, the ducks are gone. Oh, they're down there. It was, I, I looked around, I thought, because, oh, they're, oh, they're way down there. They're going down into the swamp. Actually, the safest place for them is down there because if a coyote does show up, the coyote can't run across there. He'll sink. First of all, he'll disappear in the creek. And because he can't see where the creek is because the water's so high, uh, it's just not prime hunting uh, location. The absolute safest place down there. And plus right now the water's so cold, snapping turtles are still sleeping. Or if they're, if they're not sleeping, they're moving really slow. All right, ducks, you got some water. I gotta deal with these guys. Five have to go, potentially six. Don't worry, Frank's not going anywhere. I, re I really need to get rid of them so they don't hurt any females. Okay, I'm going to go and uh, one to my neighbor's place and uh, find out about the dump trailer and uh, finish my edit. And then i got to go pack a whole bunch of uh, donation t-shirts and get that out of the way because tomorrow my buddy is coming over to help me do some light work. Um, around here that takes two people like I want to put a tarp back on top of the uh, the station down there because I want to put the food uh, down there and get it out of the barn I gotta start getting things uh, happening here he can't help me with any of the heavy stuff but he can help me with the light stuff that takes two people so I gotta get my acting gear I gotta get my jobs done today I gotta play catch-up to uh, being Doug's uh, babysitter this week. All right, that's it. No dog, <laughs> you're not coming out. Oh, you're you're just driving me nuts now. You wouldn't believe what he's doing. Um, I can't go anywhere in the house that he isn't following me around because I had to leave him today because I went to the uh, health food store to get hemp seed oil and organic uh, immune booster for him. No, Doug, you're not coming out. I'll take you out later for a pee. All right, we're gonna go lock the ducks. Here, look out, Doug. Let me out. <laughs> okay, Doug, let me out. He's pushing at me once. So. Okay, let's get the ducks locked up here. I uh, didn't accomplish anywhere near I thought I would today. You know, when you're a one-man show <laughs> and you take a, an hour power nap in the middle of the day, man, does it ever screw you up. I had such grand plans today, but I, uh, I didn't count on wasting so much time in town running around. But I got Doug the, uh, the hemp seed oil for his dog food and, uh, and the immune booster. We'll just keep pounding away here and help the dog out. You notice tonight it's much brighter. Um, I, last night I got into the house and I realized that my big flashlight was uh, almost stone dead. Now that's pretty good. It lasted uh, since last fall. I hadn't charged it. No ducks down here. That poor little hurt duck with the bad hip right there. 
Well, I'd like to know what happened to her. And the thing is, is that like it's an actual injury. But she's down in the swamp all day today drilling. It isn't slowing her down. Like look how dirty her face is. She's down in the mud playing. But she's having a hard time walking. But it isn't the first gimp duck that we've had here. I know it's not an infection. Because, you know, Andrew checked her out and it's uh, something. She did something to her hip. I don't see any ducks deciding to sleep out here. I can't believe it. Tomorrow night, going to minus four. Unbelievable. I was just thinking of turning all the water on outside. Uh, but then after that, it's like plus 10 at night. So as soon as the minus four is over with, then I can uh, get the hoses running outside completely. Hello, ducks. I'm thinking tomorrow I'm going to take Frank, Fabio and his brother, and the one Muscovy out of here. Uh, and the rest of the males that are going to be called, I'm leaving them in there. No use uh, having the four males that I am keeping locked up. It doesn't make any sense, actually. Uh, I came up with that one today. I've already given the girls uh, their medicine in the uh, metal shed. Uh, they're actually getting better. Tomorrow morning I'll, I'll uh, put the camera on. Pivot heads I mean and camera. And uh, show you how good they cooperate. Alright. Another uh, day of uh, not... Oh, I almost forgot. Another day of not getting all my jobs done. Oh man, this... Uh, I'm like tomorrow's domestic house day, which I don't know. I don't think it's going to get done. I've got to focus on my jobs at hand. Let the house slide a little bit more. So good night, everyone. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show. Good night, ducks.